door. Dang. I stuck it together. You know how that happens? <laughs> so anyway, I'm coming to y'all this morning because I have a little chit chat for you and I'm coming to you with breakfast. Look at this. Bam! That is a whole can of light, which is the first to many components of my fabulous breakfast. Then I think I will have um, another can of light and some kale with that. I like to keep my melons separate, you know, uh, above all else, keep the melons separate. Because, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you feel good, your digestion feels good, your tummy's flat, you feel like you can breathe, there's no back pain, you don't have all... People with digestive disorders know what I'm talking about. It rules your life, the pain in the whole abdominal section. And when you wake up without that sensation, you want to hold on to that by properly combining your food, right? Um, I'm coming to you to talk to you about, you know, creating a strong body and a strong immune system when you consume a rainbow color of raw plant foods. This is how we're going to do it. Um, you know, autoimmune disorders, for example, I can't get comfortable. I'm sorry. I should have done this before I turn on the camera, but the music came on and it was time to dance. <laughs> the thing is, though, with autoimmune disorders, cancer, heart attack, dementias, all the main things that are killing our society, we can prevent this, the things that most people die from, from a wide variety of raw plant food. Plants, you know, plants have the power. Do we feel like, I mean, we have to remember this when we're um, going about our day and we're just remembering to ourselves, carb up, got to stay carved up. Are you carved up? Carb the fruit up. Well, are you nutrient up? Are you getting the nutrient base you need every day? That's the question. Do you feel like that, say, white pasta gives you the same thing as a wide variety of raw um, let's say vegetables, fruits with a bunch of colors and greens and the wide variety of um, phytonutrients, antioxidants in there. Is this what we're thinking or are we just breaking it down to just are we getting our carbs in for the day? Um, yes, it fills you up. It gives you energy, but what else does it give you? You know, for example, let's just say um, a piece of chicken versus a, a piece of white bread. Okay, or a white pasta, for example. You hate to compare those two, but let's just look at this um, underlying uh, same effect they have. Because neither one contains phytonutrients or antioxidants, neither one of them builds our immune system. You know what I mean? Um, of course, your chicken's going to rot in your gut and, and um, putrefy and all that, but without some enzymes along with the pasta, How's that breaking down? It's pulling from your stored enzyme banks, you know? It's not giving you those vital properties that you need to fight disease, prevent disease, and heal yourself from the inside out. You know, there's two components to healing. We have to quit putting the toxins in. First of all, quit diseasing ourselves. You know, these things are not hereditary. Maybe in the form that your daddy did the same thing you're doing, so hello, you're getting the same results. Though worse now because the food's more chemical and you pack in more food. We have to get rid of the cause and put in what's going to heal and build ourselves back up, right? Building healthy cells. Um, you know, disease is on the serious rise. Not from genetics, you know, from what we're putting in our bodies and from our lifestyles. You know, why doctors to continue to ignore the connection with this, who's going to heal us? Who's going to save your soul? Who will save your soul? 
You're going to save it. That's who. You have the force inside, the vital force inside. All it needs is the support system of the nutrients that your body deserves, that your body runs on, right? You know, we got to take control of this ourselves. Cancer and autoimmune disorders, almost unknown in some parts of the world, maybe not so many parts now, but years ago, where um, they got enough Im immune supporting foods, you know? Um, we've got to think beyond being carved up, right? We've got to get our nutrients for the win, you know? We've got to get our raw material. We've got to get our greens. All these components matter, you know? I think that what we want to do is break it down into this simplistic form. The simplistic way to break it down is, are you packing in more raw, fresh, ripe fruits and vegetables than yesterday and do it every dang day? That's the breakdown, not just, are we carved up? I do appreciate that because if you're not carved up, you're going to have a hard time staying on this lifestyle because you don't have enough calories and enough energy to make you go, you know? I've watched myself personally reverse disease. You know, doctors said it was irreversible, that I would just live on like methotrexate and prednisone all my life, diseasing my body, maybe honing in. By the way, immunosuppressant drugs suppress your immune system. Hello? Oh, that stresses me out because people do not understand. I'm going to breathe after this video, don't worry. But the thing is, they wanted to give me those drugs, suppressing that one res immune response, though popping up in another area, and then, hello, let's have some drugs for that, and on and on and on. You never heal something by just putting a Band-Aid on it, you know. If you do put a Band-Aid on it, you better hope that your body has the natural healing ability underneath to heal, right? Because the Band-Aid really didn't fix it. You know, there's all kinds of charts and graphs and studies you can look at. As the plant-based food goes down in the world, the disease goes up. Direct connection. Health equals nutrients over calories. You know what I mean? How many nutrients can you pack into every dang calorie every dang day? Not just how many calories can you get, how many quality calories can you get? High micronutrients from a variety of foods, a calorie punch from the variety, you know? The body can heal when you remove the cause and when you give it the life lifting and supporting nutrients it needs. Let's say the sad diet, you got 51% of processed foods, no antioxidants, no phytonutrients, no life force. Then we've got 40% of animal products. Not only does that have none of those either, it also is going to rot in your guts. It's going to allow that to seep back into your body, causing some leaky gut syndrome, poisoning your whole system. Your body says, oh, foreign invader, foreign invader, foreign invader. And all of a sudden, you've got fibromyalgia. You've got all these umbrella of autoimmune disorders. Your body's confused because you're feeding it toys. It gives you 0% of the life force that you need, you know? So what about, you know, it is hard when we see our loved ones, for example, maybe they're just living off of, um, I know somebody like this, living off like white pasta. Maybe if they think they're super healthy that day, they're going to kick it up the whole week, but probably not because they don't like how mushy it tastes. And then they're going to blend it in with some mayonnaise and some salt and black pepper. And they're going to say, oh, I can just eat this all the time. Meanwhile, they're not giving their brain the nutrients it needs. They're not giving the body. They don't understand why they're weak. They don't understand why they can't think. Well, I just can't think anymore, Tanya. It breaks my heart. But I'll tell you what. 
people are going to hear you when they're ready. And they're going, only going to see you when you're a bright beacon of light that they cannot ignore. All I can do in the midst of people becoming drones, there was a movie about that and I can't think of what it is. The, the teenagers were almost like, they were on some sort of ecstasy type thing, but it was, and it was some alien substance. And everyone around them was being programmed and into this zombie state. And the few friends that were left that were fighting this battle, I had to ask Christopher what that was, they were fighting for their life to keep their light shining, their true life. You know, their light, not to be killed down because guess what? They were the only saving grace for the mass of gray people. That is you and me. So all I can do is keep my mind and body sharp, you know, while the light in this world is dying. It really is like everybody's been taken by the zombie force and they don't even see it. And then they say, well, I guess I'll visit my doctor. I'm not feeling well. Yeah. That's a great idea. It's not going to happen to me, and it doesn't have to happen to you, you know? You have to love yourself first. Love yourself enough first to bring yourself to the radiant light you need to be in. Understand that every bite you put in your mouth, for every action, there is a reaction. You're either building yourself up or breaking yourself down. See beyond being carved up, you know. Save your body and mind so you can save those you love, you know. That's my final word on that. I had a friend of mine and um, we've been working together and she told me that she keeps on slipping back into... Not me, but she's slipping back into vegan junk food, which there's a whole variety of that. That is not going to heal you, and you will never resonate on a high frequency living on that food. You will do better than you could. But if you're going to do it, dang, do it. You know? So she was telling me, what could she do? And I was like, what is your backup plan? And I don't mean for your backup plan to become the plan at the forefront of your face becoming all you eat. That happens to people right there. That's what happens with a backup plan. Remember your backup plan is the backup plan, right? So what if at night when she thinks, I'm going to go, I'm going to, maybe she, I don't know what she's eating. Maybe she's eating Oreos. They're vegan. I don't know. What if instead she had all of the steamed vegetables she could cram in her body and maybe a couple of steamed potatoes with lots of raw greens giving her those enzymes to digest that the cooked food that is a that is a, a slight step down from low fat raw vegan that is something you can get up the next day and feel okay about that's something if you're still wanting to step up on your journey you're okay you didn't fall down into the quicksand. You're still up here on the platform. You can still fly. You know what I mean? So I thought I would come to y'all this morning with that. And I'm going to get Christopher's haircut. And I don't know what else might be in this gift of the day that is unfolding today. <laughs> we need to come together, you know. With some cantaloupe. Some greens and some dancing.